What's going on guys? It's Aaron Dorf for the TechCare.com and we're here for another V today and we're kind of late. I know it's um it was troublesome doing this. So because I missed yesterday and my plans for okay, I missed yesterday for good reason. Today's Vita was supposed to be like a really, really special Vita. There was this comic book artist who was a writer. She writes, um, she writes. She is the writer for Astonishing X-Men. She was supposed to be here in my school today having a conversation. I was gonna record some of that, put that in the Vita, and make it like one really super special Vita, but she got food poisoning and didn't come in today. So that was really disappointing. And my plans kind of got screwed up because of that. So to make up for this Vita, I'm gonna talk about my day while doing some origami, so an educational Vita. So this is Vita day, um, I think it's eight and nine or nine and 10, one of them. We'll figure this out. But here is my paper and while I'm talking about my day, we're gonna be making a paper crane. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is fold the top corner over to this side and you want to get everything to line up exactly. So, she usually takes one or two tries to do this. Uh, something like this. Is that lined up? Yeah, actually pretty, pretty well. Okay. It's a little off just by like a few centimeters. We shouldn't make a, diff a big difference, so just keep doing that straight there. Also, you wanna make sure when you're doing this that you wanna make keep the creases like really, really sharp. So you want to really press down hard on this because your creases are what um, help you fold to make your, uh, your, your animal or whatever it is you're trying to make. So the reason we're doing this is because we want to get a square paper. So we took regular printer paper, we folded it, and now we're going to cut this edge off. So you can use a blade or an X-Acto knife or scissors, and I'm just going to cut this off. So while I'm cutting, and being careful not to cut off the regular paper, uh, what about my day? Um, I got my Kindle Fire today, actually. It arrived in Best Buy and I picked it up. But it looks like I'm having some charger issues. It's not charging. Well, it is, but it takes like a little, you know, I have to jiggle the charger, and uh, the, the input of the charger. It's weird, I don't know, I'm having uh, some difficulties. Like right now it's charging, but I have to keep it at a certain angle, which is not ideal. So right now we open the paper after we cut it off and we now have this diagonal line. You wanna make sure you keep it this way. I mean, you can probably do it another way, but I've been doing it like this for a while, so I'm more comfortable doing it this way. So once you have your crease, you're gonna fold this in half. Again, like before, making sure everything meets up exactly. You don't want any messed up edges. Oh no, I messed up already. Crapper. Uh, fix the page right at the end there okay fix the edge and like I said before line down on the creases so use the back of your nail and just go down on it or if you have like a battery you can roll a battery over it with force and it should uh, put a heavy crease on it and you want to fold it back up and then you want to fold it in half the other way I actually learned how to do this today during my break, which would have been me waiting for the conference with Miss Marjorie Liu. The reason I wanted to really have a conversation with her is because she's actually an attorney. She is a lawyer for the Wisconsin Bar, which is uh, quite interesting considering she is the current writer for The Astonishing X-Men. And I really wanted to ask her, like, um, you know, what was her reasoning or rationale for leaving law? And pursuing writing and if it was like an easy choice for her to make or did it take a lot of consideration considering the money that it takes to pursue a legal career okay so creased out what's left is now a crease from the top right to the bottom left and then across so you want to make sure you keep that that way so you can see you're going to bring it this way now next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the top left corner and you're going to fold it down through the a uh, vertical line to meet the bottom uh, right corner. Okay, fold it down. You don't need to put too heavy of a crease because it's already been folded that way. And now you have your triangle. So you have a triangle. You have three different triangles based on the, uh, well, two and then one really big one based on the folding. 
What you're gonna do now is you're gonna lift this up, like this, and you're gonna push this down and fold over. It's not gonna be forced because it's pretty much, like, like I said before, the creases are what help you fold the papers together. So one more time I'll show you. You have your diamond, your, 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 your you know, big triangle. You lift it up and you push it in and you close. And you do the same thing with the other side. Lift it up, fold it down. And now you have one box or like some, let's like call it a diamond, perfectly shaped diamond. Okay. Now, if you've been doing this correctly with the creases anyway, you should see a faint line. I mean, you can't see it on the video because it's really, really super faint, but there should be a line there. And what you're gonna do is you're not gonna take the open part because the other half of this is like closed, as you can see. You're gonna take the open part, you're gonna take the side, and you're gonna fold this over towards the center so that it meets the diamond, the center. You're gonna wanna make an even fold because you're gonna do this again to the other side as well. So you're gonna do this to all of the sides, this fold. So there's the fold for this side. I did a pretty decent job there. Make sure you crease it, uh, get the crease nice because this is when the, the you're gonna need the creases after this. So make sure you did a good job with the creases. And then you fold the next side. This in a similar fashion. Mm, they're not too terribly great. Might come out with like a lopsided crane. No, not really, it won't be lopsided. This won't be perfect. Fold this there and crease it. Okay, so you have this now. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Fold it down towards the center. Crease. This side came out pretty well actually. I see what the mistake was with the other side. But don't worry, it's not the end of the world. And with the next side, the same thing. Nice fold, then crease. Don't worry if you're not like, you know, exact on the edges. Um, no one's crane has to be perfect. I remember I just learned how to do this like today, so I'm not going to be perfect on mine either, which you can tell is like very evident. Okay, so now you're going to unfold those back out. You just need the creases on them. So unfold them back out so they're back into the diamond, diamond shape. And this is where the difficult part comes in. I believe this is called the petal flap or fold or something. It is very annoying and hard to do. Basically, you're gonna take the open parts again. See, the open parts, because the other side is closed. Take the open part, the top flap, the very top one. You're gonna puff it up, and you're gonna pull this back, like so, until this starts coming down towards the inside. And if you did your creases, that folds down. Now, it's not gonna go right away for a lot of you, especially the first time you do this. It, you might rip your paper, so you have to try again, or tape, I, I suggest you try again if you rip the paper apart. But um, it, don't be afraid to like push down on the paper, force the fold. Um, you might have to do that sometimes. I did that with like the first three cranes I made. It was terrible. Uh, you did it to one side, and you gotta do it to the other side, unfortunately. And, oh, thank God, these actually went uh, pretty, they went down pretty easily. But you can tell my crane is actually a little lopsided. Um, I didn't do a good job folding them the first time. So my crane might be a little off. Which is fine, that's fine. Once you've folded them, um, and your crane is not as messed up as mine, can I get away from you to fix this now? Whoa. Nope, no way to fix this. Anyway, so once you're done and you have the fold, you did the, the pedal fold correctly, you now have this really long 
di diamond diagonal thingy. The top of it is a single piece. So you see here, there's no line there. These are, the top is just, you know, hard. The bottom is open on the bottom. So you see you have two little legs. What you're gonna do with the bottom part now, is you're gonna take each of the legs and you're gonna fold them into like so to meet towards the center is what your goal for this is. Doesn't have to be exact, just as exact as possible. You're gonna do that with all of the sides like you were doing before. You know, fold these in half. And this is what pretty much makes the head and the tail of the crane. Okay, fold that down. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Um, if you have origami paper, it's actually a lot easier to do this because the paper's made for the heavy creasing. So you see, this side is actually the better side of the uh, crane. The other side is like the terrible side. And oh, my dog's getting loud. Shut up, doggy. And crease this down. Increase it down so that you have like really small nabs. They're really small now. Now what you're gonna do. Now this should not look like this at all. This should actually be aligned. But that's not gonna work out this way. You're gonna fold. Okay, you have them like this. You're gonna open the flap here. And you're gonna push this up. Whoa, hold up. Uh, it's gonna be a little difficult because of the way the paper's folded. Okay, let's try it again. Ah! Oh my gosh, what did I just do? Okay, let's try this again. One, two. Ooh. What is wrong? Okay, I messed up a little bit. Just give me a second, and I'm going to try and refix this. Okay, to make this easier, I got one of my old prints. Now, I messed up there with the folding because I wasn't exact, but you follow the directions the same exact way as I did them before. And you're gonna have, like I said, before this is like really crooked. Here it's very equal. So you see, they're very equal. The flaps are folded the way I folded them on the crane over there. They were there and I folded them in half, but the, the legs are there. What you do after you get to this part, I'm very sorry. You open this part and you fold this towards the top and then you fold it flat down and if this is going to be the head you bend it down and you pinch. Bend it and pinch. Okay, there's your head. And you do the same thing with the other side. You open, fold back and fold hard down. Okay. Now, this is the base of the bird. You see you have the head, you have the tail, but I need the wings. So you fold down on the wings. Okay. And there you go. Let's open this little guy up a bit. You open the bottom part to so make him stand. And just make him proud by lifting up his head a bit. And there's your crane. Okay. So I'm terribly sorry that I wasn't able to, you know, do with the other one. It, it came out okay up until the part when I folded them, like the final folds. It just came out of whack. It takes a little bit of practice, but if you do it the way I showed you there without, like, messing up, like not getting the angles correctly, which is what my mistake was in the last one, then it's not gonna work out for you. But I'll show you some of the other ones I made. So you know. So you know that I'm not just like a liar. Here you go.
some other ones that I made. Uh, loose leaf was a little more difficult because the paper is really, really thin and more printer paper. I think I actually like this one. This one came out really nicely. And then there's the other one. And then my paper one. To a party of three cranes there. Ooh. All right, guys, terribly sorry for missing Vita yesterday. Hope this makes up for it. And, you know, maybe now you'll, you'll learn how to make some origami cranes. All right, guys. Whoa. Thanks for watching, guys. Turn door from the And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next Vita. Take care.